There is always something very special about Greek island airports. They are always one of a kind. And today we are going to be visiting one again. Now this is Corfu Airport. Corfu Airport? Basically, it's on the island of Corfu, which is a Greek island. It is definitely a very beautiful island. It is very much one of a kind. Yeah, I like that word from now on. You know, the island of Corfu is always very, very touristy. You can find a lot of ancient architecture and, and this. I don't know what this is actually. And... A, a ship, right? That's cool. We can land on that, right? Talking about landing on something, we also have a very, very, very interesting airport. This is Corfo Airport. Actually, it has another name. It's called Ioannis Kapodiste. I'm not even gonna try this one, but whatever. This is the airport. It's extremely beautiful. Now, especially Americans will find this very interesting because we only have very uh, small fences here, which is very typical of Europe, actually. There is not so much protection even at high profile business and commercial airports but on the us on the other hand uh, an airport can almost feel like a jail there is just so many fences i don't even know now this airport is incredibly special mostly for landing runway 34 is used typically a 737 which is by the way the biggest plane to come into this airport they have to touch down quite quickly and somehow try to stop before the runway ends this is not a long Long runway. This is only 2,300 meters long, which is not long at all, definitely. But it is enough for some passenger planes like the 737 to operate here. But what happens if we operate bigger planes here? Now, right now, we are not in a plane that is bigger at all. This is actually a very, very extreme plane when it comes to being able to operate on small runways. This thing can take off everywhere. It can even operate on aircraft carriers. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is actually land on the other side of the runway, which is runway 16. You know, you have a very spectacular approach over the harbor and the city. And hopefully you will not overrun into the ocean because that's something that you might not want to do. Now, let's go ahead and take off this very, very, you know, I've already said this extreme plane. We are not on the official runway yet. So we're just taxiing onto the runway when the actual runway starts. It's actually over here. Now, as you can imagine, this airport is definitely a paradise for spotters. You can get extremely close to the whole thing. You can get extremely close to the airport. You can get extremely close to the planes. You can take great shots of the planes. And there are great hotels to go to and have a look at the approaching planes. Now, we have already taken off this plane. Again, this does not even need a runway at all. Pretty much, you can take off on this... Uh, soccer field most probably this is one of the hotels that i mean this is quite a famous hotel it is just amazing to look at the planes here approaching and hopefully buttering the problem is ryanair also flies into this airport and we all know ryanair has some trouble with their landings but that's a whole nother story now you know what let's just actually start flying in some heavier planes than this one let's try the 737 you know the 737 is pretty much the maximum, the biggest plane that can operate at this airport. You can't really go that much bigger. Let's actually pick the Reiner livery because we're dangerous here. Let's try to butter. And you know, operating a 737 here is not the biggest issue. You just have to touch down a little bit more quickly than you may want to. Yeah, the island of Corfu is extremely popular in the UK, for example. There's a lot of airlines flying into this airport from the UK. Also, there are a lot of German airlines flying flying here and Thomas Cook also used to fly into this airport I think I'm pretty sure about that we are in a Reiner 737 let's hope that this goes well actually the approach is quite deep it's quite low which is something that I'm just noticing lower than I want to go there's also like this bridge right in front of the runway just imagine you stand on there and you get blown away literally <laughs> I think the poppy lights are broken or something have some kind of good touchdown please Oh, that was maybe not the best landing ever, but we landed. And my excuse for this landing is the Ryanair livery. And as you can see, the 737 is able to operate at this airport. Let's actually step up the game a bit. Let's go for the 767. Now, surprisingly, there have never been any type of accidents at this airport. Right, so here we are in the 767. Let's try taking this plane off. Now, I don't actually think that a 767 would be able to operate at this airport and even would be allowed 
to operate at this airport. Maybe it's physically possible, but we're gonna find out in a second, right? Let's also make this plane a little bit thicker. Oh yes, that's almost half a million pounds right here. That's a lot of weight, but actually this plane can go a lot heavier, I guess. All right, go for a takeoff. For some reason, the flaps are not setting. That's kind of worrying. Ah, weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we don't need flaps. Flaps are for losers. Uh, even though I do want this plane to take off eventually, like pretty much right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh no, the bridge. Okay, so we have turned this 767 into a boat now. And we are not even that overweight. And I know we didn't use slaps this time because they did not work. But yeah, I'm not really happy with this result, to be honest. Yeah, rip, I guess. Let's try another plane. Let's go even bigger. Let's try the 777. That is a lot, lot bigger. Let's go for Air France again. Yeah, my editor's editing today and he's French. So we have to be, you know, a little bit international here. All right, so here we are in the 777. Let's do this. Oh, Jesus. Don't crash, please. This 777 has quite a lot of thrust reversing power, so maybe we will be lucky and not overrun this time around. Okay, we are just approaching over the city, which is giving our passengers an amazing view. That was probably very hard. Okay, come on. That was even a little bounce there. I'm not really good at landing the big boys. I do have to say that. But as long as we make a safe landing, we're good. Actually, this went really, really well. We made a very, very quick stop because we have a lot of thrust reversing power from these GE 90s, which are very thick. Let's watch that landing. It was really not good. We should probably not watch it. Even though that was a late touchdown, we still made it. So probably the 767 sucks. Even though it is harder to take off a plane than to land a plane, but that's a whole nother story. All right, let's try another plane. Let's go even bigger. Let's go way, way bigger now. Let's try the 747. Let's try taking that off. All right, so here we are in the good old 747 in the United livery. Let's just go ahead and uh, add some more weight to this to make this a little bit more interesting. Yeah, this should be fine. This should be good for a normal flight. All right, let's take this plane off, shall we? Now, taking off from this side is a little bit less risky because you still have this part of the runway to use because obviously you do not want to overrun, right? Especially not into the city. Let's try this. Yeah, the people that are standing on that bridge are dying right now. Oh, Jesus. We are rolling off the runway. I didn't watch that. Get back onto the center line, please. Now, this is looking very well. Let's see. Do we have flaps even up? Now we do. This will be a totally fine takeoff. Let's just try to somehow rotate now. We are very, very late. Oh, no. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay, that gave us uh, the little boost we needed. We actually... <laughs> that was a perfect takeoff, right? And also, the cruise ship is blown away. Now, let's try maybe the biggest passenger plane. Let's try the A380. Should we try landing it? Yeah, let's do it. Now, I can imagine that there also can be problems with heat. I mean, you know, this is in the Mediterranean area. So, it has Mediterranean climate. It can get very hot in the summer. And that can cause even more trouble taking off and landing a plane. All right, we are over. 1 million pounds. Let's try this. Now we are approaching over the city again. I cannot imagine this airport to be uh, a world airport, you know, like Dubai or Istanbul. I mean, it has a single runway, right? How are we too high right now? We are not even that high, are we? I think the I think the populace are broken. Oh, Jesus. Well, there's someone crossing the runway. Oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. Okay, butter, butter, please, for once. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's try breaking this plane now. <laughs> is reverse thrust even activated? Yeah. The problem is this plane only features reverse thrust on two engines instead of four. Oh, Jesus. Now, we have good news and bad news. The good news is that we did not die. And the bad news is that I don't know how to turn at this point. <laughs> I mean, we don't want engines hanging over grass, but we cannot really avoid that at this point. So yeah, this was a little adventure to the Greek island of Corfu. Oh, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.